For our final recipe today, we're going to make better than tuna. This also utilizes Rhonda's no oil dressing, and it has a half a teaspoon of kelp, which gives it that tuna flavor. And I've already chopped up some fine parsley, about a half a cup. I'm going to add that into our bowl. And with that, I've got about two stalks of celery, one ripe tomato diced fairly fine, one ripe bell pepper also chopped fine, and finally about a half a cup of diced red onion. And I grated some carrot to resemble carrot pulp. It gives it a really good texture. Kind of makes it have that texture of, of a tuna. Mm -hmm. This recipe also calls for a tablespoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, but we're going to replace that with a couple pinches of Celtic sea salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in our kelp and the Rhonda's oil dressing. Now, we want to mix this thoroughly so that it's well combined with all the other ingredients. And it's okay after you've mixed it to let it stand for a little bit to let all those flavors combine. Why don't you show us what we can do with that? Okay. Well, if you'd like, you can place it on just a bed of lettuce and eat it as a salad alone, or you can place it on some whole grain bread and enjoy it as part of your 15% cooked portion of the day. And we also have uh, a whole cabbage leaf here, and you stuff that in there, roll up the leaf, and you can eat it like a burrito. And that counts as a totally raw food. And I hope you've seen how Rhonda's Noel dressing and the vegetable soup stock play a key role in many of the recipes in the Recipes for Life book. Thanks for being with us today, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next Hallelujah Food Show.